Hello everyone and welcome back to Octopath Traveler. We finished the tutorial section for Harnit last time. Let's see, we have the cash to buy um, an upgraded, upgraded bow for her. So I'm going to quickly uh, do that and immediately equip it. Um, means I can also sell the old longbow. It's only worth 30 money, but anyway. Uh, I can also quickly equip her the bronze vest, which I actually found last episode and forgot to equip. Oops. <laughs> um, so we can then also sell the old leather vest. Again, this has very little value, of course. It's your starting equipment. It, it's not really supposed to be particularly valuable. Um, he technically also sells a battle axe, which is an improvement, but I can't afford it right now. And he's got like a round shield and all that sort of thing, a bronze helm, but I'm not really interested in spending money on those at the moment. For some reason the, the, the controller starts vibrating when you leave that shop having bought something. It's kind of weird. But yeah, we are supposed to leave now, so let's do that. So thou art going after Zonta. Hagen here came at seeking my help. In his letter, he said he was bound for Stoneguard. We shall begin our search there. I pray it is no more serious than an ill-founded wager that left him unable to pay at his innkeeper. <clears throat> for a Hagen who cometh all this way alone, I... Uh... I cannot help but fear the worst. Prithee, take us care. We will. And dawn nothing foolish. Dawn as Zonta saith, child, not as he would doeth. Thank ye, Chief. Fear and not for us. We shall be back before the next moon, with Master at our side. Stayest safe, Master. We're coming. Okay, there are seven others who await you. As I said before, I don't know if we can get all of them in the party at the same time, but I'm certainly going to, to see if it's possible. I know you can get two additional ones. That's how far I got in my private playthrough before deciding, you know, this might be something fun to record. Let us begin. Come in, if thou darest. Rain and arrows up on them. Let in the hunt begin it. What next? Come in, if thou darest. The hunt endeth. Now, I'm not capturing all of these enemies because I've already captured them. Um. So yes, they have limited uses, so there is a purpose to capturing enemies again that you've already captured. You don't need to get more uses out of them, but I'm not too worried about it. So we get these side quests sometimes. I don't think I've finished any of them really so far, but uh, we can talk to this guy. He is telling us that uh, he wants a healing grape. We give one to him and he's fine. Um, often we need path actions, I believe, to uh, to do these quests, but in this case we didn't, we just needed the healing grape. And as a reward, get 1500 bunny. Um, 
which is definitely much more than a single healing grave would cost us. So definitely worthwhile to do that. Now, if we go into our, into our menu and look at the world map, you can see that it marked on the map where the other characters are. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Flames Grace first to get Ophelia. Then we'll go to Atlas Dam and get Cyrus. Then we'll get Tressa from Ripple Tide. And all of these has a recommended level of 5, I think, except for um, Harnets Chapter 2, which is a recommended level of 27. Um, so the idea is basically I'll do a circle around, I'll get um, yeah, Tressa from Ripple Tide, then I'll get um, Albrick from Cobblestone, Primrose from Sunshade, uh, from Clearbrook we'll get Alfin, and Therion from Boulderfall. And that's all that chapter one's done, and then we'll look into that chapter twos, which I said, I, as I said, I haven't gotten to that point yet, so I don't know. But the recommended level is 27 for my next chapter, which means obviously I, I don't want to go there straight away. I'll probably, definitely, absolutely need to level up a bit. Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. Okay, so this is a standard ratkin. Forest Ratkin 1. We've also already seen Forest Ratkins 2, so. Coming, if thou darest. There is that. I honor thee, my quarry. Yeah, there's a specific type of enemy that we'll meet in somewhat rarely in some areas, which um Standest thou against gives a lot of experience. So in my arrow um, fly and if it turns out I need to need to level up at any point, I'll probably use those kinds of enemies. What next? What? And enemy broken. In my arrow fly and true. This guy, if we summon him, does a heal. Coming. But I, you start the game with one of them pre-captured, kind of. I so I don't queen. really need to to get any more of those. And yeah, sometimes after combat we get those um, essence of some things. So previously all we've gotten is essence of pomegranate. Pomegranate? Whatever. Um, these are materials for crafting, I think, but I don't know how crafting works yet. I can't use them, so... Perhaps I need a station or more ingredients or something. And as always, we can provoke these guys. Um, this guy has a strength of one, so let's see if we can if we can do this. Letting us begin. I mean, you're not guaranteed to win these fights, but it's not horrible if you lose them. For example, we could say, okay, let's use this um, this forest fox then. The enemy's now blinded, but you see he hit anyway, so it's um. Not generally a reliable, Let in my arrow um, fly and true. reliable status Holding condition. Back. And there we go. Thou didst fight with courage. Enemy defeated. Got a healing grave out of it. I guess it's kind of like an honor duel thing. Western Flames Grace Wilds. Very convenient, of course, because we want to get to Flames Grace to get to Ophelia. And recommended level 5, we're level 6, so it's all good. I don't think it's really realistically possible to... Uh, to leave the tutorial at a much lower level anyway. I guess if you skip the fights. Um, so probably if you speedrun this, you, you do skip... Um, let Skip turns, but yeah. in my arrow fly. Okay, so this guy's weak against the axe, not against the bow, Let but we can still take advantage begin. of that. 
Um, and we can capture him. He uses a spear attack. And now my uh, sort of capture pool is actually full. For example, I could decide to get rid of this Forest Ratkin 1, because I've got a Forest Ratkin 2 who is stronger. And instead, I could get this Ice Lizardman 1. Thou didst fight with courage. I don't think it matters much, really. It's just showing you the feature, really. And back here, we get another chest. Generally, the golden chests contain of more valuable stuff, now, but let us um, hunt it's also generally not that important. Let in the hunt. Hey, this one's uh, vulnerable to the let bow attacks. Fly and true. Um, sure, let's just yeah. lend him. I honor thee, my quarry. And more pomegranate essences. So here we get a critical nut. And this here is danger level 25, the Hoarfrost Grotto. I don't know if the danger level sort of corresponds to a recommended level for your card party or whatever. But this is more dangerous than anything I've been to, so I'm actually not going to go in there. Because I think I would die. Now, let us hunt him. What but next? I might not. I, as I said, really don't know. If uh, that's what the danger level means. Let in the hunt beginning. Okay, so he can freeze. And he also has a strength of two. So maybe we'll get rid of this ice lizard man. Or maybe we'll get rid of this forest fox. Because, as I said, the blinding, um, during my beginning of my first playthrough, I thought the blind was going to be really valuable, so I caught four of them. Because in, in RPGs like this, often you fight sort of strong physical enemies, so the being able to blind them um, can be really valuable. Again, going from FF10, there are some enemies where... Um, Let the hunt begin it. Having a blind can be really, really valuable. I will not. What next? Because Coming thinking about even next. very early game enemies, um, like the the Garuda or stuff like that, if they're blinded, then Coming basically they can't hit next. at all. And there's some boss fights in particular. Um, yeah. Where uh, blinding them at the start can make the boss fight quite trivial because the you basically ends. take no or very little damage. And I thought, hey, this is going to be the same kind of thing. It, it's not. It increases the enemy's chance to miss, but not by a lot. Thou against so it's me? not particularly Let valuable. Letting my arrow fly and true. Okay. Start by breaking him. Letting my arrow fly and true. Yeah. And then spend all our boosts to kill him in one attack, which I means we get the untouched bonus. Now this area is also the first place where I've seen that Kate enemy, or I think it's supposed to be pronounced cat, which is a yeah, it's like a cat burglar thing or something. It's uh, supposedly really difficult to fight. Letting us begin in. Ooh, this is level two. And I was caught by surprise, so he immediately starts getting two attacks. Letting my arrow fly in true. Uh, those were weak to access, the level one kind. What so this next? is the level two kind, but still weak to access. Letting my arrow fly in true. Holding back nothing. So he gets a attack all or an attack all ability instead of just attacking one. Um, so I'm going to replace this one. Has less I uses, but attacking all enemies could be really valuable for certain um, encounters, like killing a boss and adds at the same time, stuff like that. Of 
Okay, I'll probably go grinding at some point to, to get some levels. And for that purpose, I will probably... Um, let's see if those are weak to bows. They are. And yeah, for those purposes, I will uh, try to find those cat enemies. They are... Think of them like... I know, I think Cactuas were like that in older Final Fantasies, or like the, um, the, the, what are they called in Lufia, the cubes? Um, they're not called cubes, they've got a different name, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, sort of enemies are supposed to be difficult to kill, but in exchange they get, um, let us begin. They get really nice, they give really nice rewards, Let so when you do manage to kill them, um, Come in. it's very Get worth it. Thou didst fight with courage. So when I get my second party member, I will possibly try to find some of those, and um, yeah. They give lots of money, lots of experience, and lots of JP. They're just all around very good for, for farming when you find them. Uh, we're still doing fine on supplies. I'm gonna buy some more healing grapes because... Might be that I need them, and I don't know, maybe some of these... Uh, status removing herbs, which I've never used so far, but... Curing silence and terror. And I don't know... Precisely how dangerous those conditions actually are. You can also buy um, um, some stuff here, but notice that we can buy a bow that's actually the same as we've already got. Technically, there's also a better bow, which, uh, well, it has higher physical and lower elemental attack, but overall, I'd say it's better. But we can't afford it anyway. And then stone rod and quartz rod. We don't know what those are. And same thing here, we can buy a pointed hat, which I guess increases our um, defenses noticeably. And a circlet, which increases the SP of our character. Which again, why would we need that? Um, we're not spending that many of them. We will eventually, but yeah. My, my point is we get, um, we get equipment here that's not really for our character. But I am going to buy two of these and two of these. Not sure if that's a good idea, but I just did it anyway. Um, so these are accessories. <clears throat> Increasing speed and critical. Just figured I'd do it. And this is the next character who can join our party. Um, So, yes, we want Ophelia to come along. Um, now, we could skip the beginning of her tale, but I'm going to show it. Um, again, very anime. Just just bear with it. It can't be helped. Come in. May the sacred flame light your path on this fine day. And may it ever shine its warmth upon you. <laughs> How many times have we said those words? And yet, they seem to take on a whole new meaning now. Each day is one day closer to my departure. Perhaps I'm more nervous than I thought I was. Liana? You needn't worry about me. I was born to make the pilgrimage. My father did the same 20 years ago. As his daughter, I cannot let him down. You really 
are incredible, Liana. I don't know how you do it. What? As the Archbishop's only true-born daughter, everyone always expects so much from you. And yet you never fail them. Each of your sermons is more inspiring than the last. And now, the pilgrimage... So much is placed on you alone. Don't be silly. I'm not alone. I have... Why, you're the one who helped me think of a topic for that last sermon, Ophelia. You even stayed up nights with me to draft it. A willing set of ears and a few pretty words, that's all I could offer you. I wish I could do something that would truly help you. Oh, abandon such worries and come, my sister. Father is expecting us in the chapel. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here and clean some of this anime off my screen. It's going to get worse for a bit, but the actual gameplay is fine. There's not much anime in there, so yeah. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and um, yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.